Many in North Carolina have lost their minds. We have a tremendous Lieutenant Governor. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, a history-making Lieutenant Governor, the only African-American Lieutenant Governor in the history of this, this here great state. And the man is doing a fantastic job. And all oh, he's been attacked by these white leftists. They're the greatest racists on the face of the earth. Ain't nobody, no one is a racist like a white leftist because, oh, they, they want to promote a, a program. Uh, they want to promote an ideology. They have something that they want to promote, uh, their vision, even at the expense of our children. And the Lieutenant Governor is standing, and I tell you, he's all man. I thank God for him. I thank God for him. And I agree with him 100%. I agree with his choice of words. He called what they're trying to do in the public school system with our children filth. I think that filth is almost a euphemism to be used to describe the mind-bending techniques that they are trying to apply to children in their formative years, trying to get boys to see little boys now as girls when the boy changes his mind and decides he wants to be a girl. We want to teach them that homosexuality, lesbianism, and all these things are clean, pure, normal, and natural. Want, want, want to promote in schools uh, these ideas to our children where in, in their formative years, they want to they want to teach our children things that they know that they know that once the children are taught, they can't unlearn it. See, these people know these folk are wicked to the core. They know how the human mind works. They know that there are certain things that you can see that you can't unsee certain things that you can hear that you can't unhear and certain things that you could teach certain ideologies, certain agendas that you can teach that that can't be untaught. The devil will just hook it into their spirits and they're coming after our children. Well, I want to thank God that the overwhelming of calls and support that's coming in to our Lieutenant Governor are overwhelmingly supportive. Don't let the news uh, uh, fool you. Uh, people support our governor. As a matter of fact, I talked to him the other night and he told me that the overwhelming majority of calls that's coming into his office are supportive. Don't be moved by those losers that they had the other day during a press conference. Uh, 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 preachers, preachers, uh, in, uh, listen, lesbians and homosexuals wearing uh, turn back collars, attacking the man for telling the truth. There's nothing that the lieutenant governor said that is contrary to the Christian doctrine. There's nothing that he said that is wrong. And thank God he told me out of his own mouth that uh, a, the, 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 a, a great number of the calls that are coming in, check this out, are from black women. Black parents, black women calling saying, we didn't know that this is what they were trying to do to our children. And those sisters are saying to uh, our Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, stand your ground, man. We're for you. See, Satan means this thing for evil, but God mean, it means it for good. And I say to the Lieutenant Governor and all right thinking North Carolinians and, 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 and Christians around the world, Let's pray for him. Let's hold him up. We just, there was just a big prayer meeting uh, uh, yesterday in the, the mansion there with the lieutenant governor, and God is doing great things. And so I, I thank God for him. I'm praying for him. I'm praying for him. I'm praying that the Lord keep him and watch over him and cause his face to shine upon him.